Welcome back to another episode of the Multipliers Club. This week, it was just myself, Joe Todd, my two good friends, Luke Harvey and Jake Walters, and Sam Warrington is out in Bali sunning himself up. It was a bit of a different episode this week. We did some quick fire questions and answers, made some predictions of 2024. Make sure to check it out on all platforms now. 2023, for oh, me, yeah. the best thing was probably two things. One, the podcast, starting the podcast, yeah. because now it's very easy for us to, to we're all quite harsh on ourselves, I'd say, where I feel like if we actually think back to January last year, this time last year. Had we even spoken to James? <laughs> yeah, we had, we had. We started, well, EMC was in the year before, wasn't it? Yeah, and then yeah. James, we, we started filming in the end of January, I think. But yeah, so I if, think you, so, yeah. if you think back, we basically started, well, we started filming, filming literally yeah. now a year ago. And then we start, we released, because we did 10 episodes first. Then we released uh, at the start of April. Out. So, and there was all the editing and stuff like that in the meantime. So I think we started about now or the end of January. Yeah. So it, it's been a year. Um, if you think back to Sam nearly bottling it in the group chat. Everyone was a bit scared. I was excited, but I was still scared, nervous. None of us had spoke on camera. None of us had done a story, I don't think. Or maybe Sam, I think, had. I don't know if you had. Sam's done a little bit. Yeah. But none of us had really put ourselves out on social media. None of us had been on camera. None of us was confident to come and just start talking. So for me, that's been that's been the biggest win. Like to now even start in the TikToks and, and posting on, on my own TikTok from really... Confidence coming from a mix of the podcast and obviously da Danny Allen Page shout him out on uh, when he came on and then we all kind of took action from there, didn't we? So for uh, yeah, for me that's that's been a big win and taking that into twenty twenty four. See, we want to now focus around getting the podcast consistent every week. We want to get it set up a bit better. We want to try and make it a lot more natural. Want to I want to be consistent on my TikTok through the year. I want to try and post sort of five times at least a week on my personal TikTok, whether that's clips on the podcast or also you're gonna just... Bulk film. Yeah, I think I need to. I think I need to. That's how you're going to stay consistent. Otherwise, you can't stay consistent. I need to I need to bulk draft ideas, bulk draft sort of, not script, but start middle end. Otherwise, you know what I'm like? I just waffle on for 10 minutes on my TikTok videos. And um, yeah, so I kind of need to bulk idea, bulk start middle end the actual kind of script as such, and but then even, bulk even film. Even like, um, see like Eddie, Abu, uh, yeah. even like you can see in his, yeah, he's he's just so like, he's not got set up, he's literally like, he's in his living room, he's probably got a ring light, yeah. he's got his road mic on, and you can see it gets cut. Like even when he's talking there, this is shit, this is shit, like you can this see shit, like, man. that'll go, and then it'll, he'll be in a different position. But it's done so, just quickly, bang on the iPhone, done, mm. he's gone from 400k to a, well, 400k when I started, 10k, I think it was a year ago. He's now on a million. Really? Yeah. 10k to a mil. 10k to a mil in last wow. year, but you, you must have seen him. You not seen him? I don't know. He's all Eddie man. Abu, and he's, he just talks about bodybuilder guy. Body he says, "This is shit, man. Don't eat this. This is no. shit. Don't eat this. Is fucking shit. It's it's fucking shit. Don't see him. Yeah, he just eats bare eggs and, <laughs> and, and <laughs> really, yeah, six eggs for breakfast, six bread, uh, six eggs for dinner. Um, but yeah, he's gone from 10k to a mil, but like. But have you seen how like, consistently he's posting? Yeah, I was shocked. every day, every three times no, but, like, a day. but four times a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know whether they're recycling some of the content. Like, I don't know how they're doing <clears> it because he's wearing different stuff. He's in Tesco's and he's not. And then he's in Morrison. Like, it's mad. Right? I don't yeah. know how he's doing it. Yeah. He buys better eggs, isn't it? He probably buys them all. <laughs> It'll be shots. a combination. Like, that's what we need to do as well. We need to recycle, I don't know, 25% of our posts. Don't need to be, is, is a little uh, hack, but that don't need to be new content. We should recycle 25% from, we posted something eight weeks ago. Most of followers wouldn't have seen it or remembered they seen it or whatever. If it done well, don't matter anyway, yeah. recycle it. That's what all of the big, most pages do they recycle a good percentage of their content even but like yeah. when you're on when you're watching like i'm just bait mm. and you're like i've watched this video before it's yeah from like three years ago yeah 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 exactly yeah, still everyone does it it's yeah. it, because it's not shown to most of your followers do you know what i mean so it, it's um it's called out the win for 2023 what's um what's planned for 2024 with podcast or overall it's general really obviously yeah we we'll obviously want to talk about goal setting yeah so, yeah so i feel for me Social media content is a big one within the business and within so business, personal and podcast. I want to hit the social medias hard. Now I've started it, I want to go all in and, 
and make it work. I don't want to half-heartedly do it for... Do you know I mean it's not something? It's not a passion of mine to do social media to try and post videos and stuff like that. We all kind of hate doing it <coughs> a bit. I don't mind it when I'm it's doing. Outside it, the comfort it's zone outside. as well, isn't it? Yeah, but yeah. I feel like if if you got thing is if um, posting on social media, if you get sick engagement and like people start liking and commenting, I feel like you would really enjoy it. You'd actually 100%, feel like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gassed. I want to post. But I want to post that. When yeah. you don't, it's like a bit like. Oh, and you spend so much time doing the shit. video. And it, yeah, and then but, yeah, but then nothing. that's when that's when these bastards then take away your engagement and leave you fucking desperate back right, for that right. that feeling again. And that's how, that's how you're in the, uh, the the loop, the cycle. But, but yeah, exactly. I just want to I just want to go for it and actually see progress with our reach, with our following through business podcast personal over the next 12 months big time because that is the best leverage in the world that you can have hands down having a large social media following if my business suddenly had 100k followers on instagram bang i can probably double or add 50 percent to my price just because you've got a following that people want to work with you you know your prestige your etc etc um the opportunities that would come from the podcast not necessarily you know in a monetary way but just by the people we could get conversation. Look at how how good it's been with the people we've had conversations with to have them in our network now. Well, that's led to and imagine yeah, we grow a big following. The guests are just going to get bigger and bigger. Not necessarily always better, but you know, opportunities will come. Um, I want to. I want to. I want to. This is stepping outside of the comfort zone. So last year I stepped out of the comfort zone with this. Now I'm comfortable with this. The TikTok. Now I'm comfortable with that. This year, I want to do on stage. I want to try and do a, a talk or two on stage. About what? I've de- I've been thinking about that quite a lot. I want to. Cr- I need to craft a good message. Do you know what I mean? I need to craft something that hits because we've seen people that have delivered incredible speeches, incredible presentations, and talks. It doesn't need to be in front of a huge crowd. Do you know what I mean just to, just anything to get started? Just in front of twenty people up. You know that would be pretty cool. Um, and what type of event would that be? It, obviously, it's going to be around business. Um, but what do, what do you feel like you can offer them? That's what I'm. That's what I'm trying to work out currently. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's what angle I go right because I feel like we've we've seen people on stage that aren't further ahead than us in business yet they have they've they've crafted a really good message that just hits with the audience and that's what I need to think about because yes, okay, I've already got good experience in business. Yes, I've had some good success in business. Yes, I've le- you know I've I, I'm obsessed with business investing mindset. So I've got lots of knowledge on a whole load of things that hopefully when I sit down and have an hour conversation with people, they find it interesting. However, to do that to a stage where it isn't a conversation, you've just got a hit. I feel like you just need to be, it needs to be well thought out and crafted. And so that's what I need to think of first before I come with what's my message going to be. Um, I don't know the angle I take with it, really. Obviously, Joseph Valente is quite big for it now, and he like get off the talk, get yeah, off the yeah, talks. Yeah, 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 he yeah, does, yeah. he does all the talks. So even something like, even something like, you could even have a conversation with him, you know. So I feel like for me, if I was going to go to a business, I'm a business like I'd feel uncomfortable. I don't feel like I've, I'm in that position to be able to give, the, you know. Although I can definitely give them different yes. gifts that they can take away, but I feel like as a collective, who would benefit most from listening to what I've got. Say. It's going inter- to be industry specific. Yeah, I'd say Tony who on the talks. I know what we spoke about earlier, really. That's the best place you're going to speak, really. Yeah. So like, we, you need to look into it, what kind of events there are in it and then just go and say. attend them. I guess it's just research because the property events are qu- quite different to obviously. I know. Yeah, I yeah, I mean, yeah. That's not maybe the right answer. <clears throat> but yeah, have a. Do you think I just need to try and get an event, obviously, with an audience? I don't, I don't want to get into it involved. That's do your own event. You can yeah, just yeah. Look back on, back on the. Mate, just go on event, right? There's, a, there's events all day, every day in London. Really? Is that how you find them all? Event, right, Jack, yeah. Jack, who used to work for us, obviously, he just smashes random events. He'll go to like fucking weird events. That's what I've been looking at like, doing it's this so year. Random, because, like, it's so random, though. Because, like, poetry and that. There's, what? there's stuff for like everything. You know what I mean? He'll go to like an opera one or a poetry one or like actors one or like entrepreneurs one. Like, he doesn't care. He just goes because he knows he's going to meet people. Yeah. He doesn't really care what, he, what it is. Yeah, Hot. fair play. Yeah, but there's loads on Eventbrite, yeah. It's got to look for yeah, it. Just go on Eventbrite, just type in building. There you go. That's then there'll be building. That's in your the goal. In that's a goal in itself. There isn't we it? are. That's part of the goal, right? A goal and with a plan. There we go. A goal without a plan. My main goal was actually to network. Like that was a hundred percent the top thing I, I put at the top of my list was to network. What did, what is what does that look like? So like, firstly, join founders event. Yeah, Say yeah. for that. Join founders. <laughs> Never really been part of a networking event. Uh, sorry. 
I was kind of nervous about doing it because I've never done it before. But then it's fucking easy when you're there. Like everyone, everyone makes you feel comfortable, and you realise that everyone's in the same position, really. Like so, yeah, that was good. And I just went to loads of events. That was cool. And then uh, started the podcast. That's been so sick for networking, really. I think that's probably the best <laughs> thing about it all, really. That's actually mad that now thinking about 2023 is when we started Founders, when we went to Christmas thing, same thing. I hadn't ever been in an actual, obviously, networking naturally. Oh, I'd yeah. never been in a room of actually networking. That's networking. Ago, really? yeah. That was just over a year ago. So, mate, like the, the growth in last year for all of us has been mad. All of the people we've met from Founders and from networking, going to things like the MC where we met loads of people, the podcast, like the we've actually well. met, like I don't even know how many millionaires I must have spoke to. How many millionaires do you reckon you spoke to in 2023? Yeah, I'm done. 100, 100, yeah. 100 and something, yeah, probably. Yeah, probably, yeah, within the hundreds. Mm, which yeah. is mad, yeah. really. Like considering the year before I probably spoke to like people that are in like worth a few million through business or investments and stuff like that sort of category. Last year probably over a hundred, definitely. The year before probably I don't even know, ten or something maybe for me. So no, sure big difference with, with the events. Like actually, I thought okay, obviously I'm going to go and get gain value from everybody really. And I thought, well, I don't know how much value I'm going to give these people. Like they're they're on it. Do you know what I mean? What, what yeah, they're going to learn from me? But some of them actually took away stuff. Some some people actually took away stuff where I, like when I see them next time they're like oh look I implemented what you said and blah 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 like Cal. Like, yeah Cal like <laughs> he's smashing it now so do you know Cal who's running the education for Dr. Yeah, 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 schools yeah, and yeah. Like that like yeah like he's he's about our age and then we're just speaking to Luke like he's a, he was like oh look operator just like fully in the business and then Luke was just like oh I'd like try VAs and whatever but he like his business model is just so sick and he's such a cool guy as well like yeah, he's already well, killing it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, he's doing really well. Yeah. Last time I he's, spoke to him. He's going to continue. But yes. yeah, obviously, yeah, like Luke was able just to be like, yeah. But that can work, honestly, for like the VA stuff. Like, I noticed that, talking about that to other people, that can work for anybody in any, but you've got 200 people working for your business. Like, you got you probably know about VA, <coughs> but you don't know how it works behind the scenes and stuff. Like, that is always a good like conversation start because that is actually... Like we like say, leading with value. Not, not a lot of people know about that. No. Or I used that a few times in a couple of conversations because I knew actually that's sick value to offer someone. Especially the process. Someone might have tried a VA from a wrong, some dodgy agency once and thought, yeah. oh, fuck this, this is shit. Whereas, yeah, leading with the actual process of looking, man, this is how you go about it, this is how you do it, these are the type of agencies you need to look for, this is how you find them, this is how you recruit, whatever it might be. And different countries as well. <coughs> and also, the big, biggest expense of any business usually is your. Employees' wages. Mm. So, how do you cut that? Get a VA. Yeah. Like, yeah. Remote workers. Yeah, that's it. Like, yeah. literally, the, my business wouldn't be like where it is now. I don't think this year or last year. How many remote workers have you got now? Uh, maybe twelve. Yeah, 12 but right. like, I wouldn't be able to do that in the UK because it would have cost me double the money. Like, it would have cost me way more, more than double the money. Mate, so I wouldn't have been out. So I don't even know. Like, if I didn't learn about that myself the year before, I, I like. I don't even, I can't imagine what my business would look like. I yeah, well don't, I don't get it yeah, because yeah. I've actually it's like... It's almost like how do they even have a business without... Yeah, you know, exactly. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, that, yeah, yeah I, don't, wouldn't, I don't think we would be as far along as we are. So, yeah. And again, that was from networking though. Like literally, the reason I found out about it is because I paid for a call with somebody, 300 quid for an hour for them to tell, just to learn about what they were doing in marketing. And I learned that and I took away more than that. But that one thing probably changed our whole business for the whole year. Jake. Well, he hasn't done his 2024 goals. 2024 goals. And also, what else is this quickly? 2023 goals. What else 20, was in there? What was networking. in there? Uh, networking. Um, going to the gym consistently. Because that, yeah, like three times, three or four times a week. Oh, yeah. I did that yeah, the whole that year. One my one as well, wasn't it? Did that All the whole year. the same. And to get, start getting up earlier. So I changed it to getting up at seven, yeah, exactly. which I was getting up at 8 30. So that was good. And that definitely helps getting up earlier. I like, definitely feel like. I never. I thought I wasn't a morning person. I thought I'm the evening person. But now I've completely changed limited my opinion belief. on it. Yeah, yeah, definitely a limited belief. So that was cool. Did that. Um, I mean, at the start of the year, I think the goal was to try and get 10, 10 Airbnbs. But obviously, things change. And now we've scaled it down to two, which is the, probably the best decision we made to, yeah. for that. But obviously, things change throughout the year. Wait, imagine right? we still had the six that we had. Yeah. Like, it'd be a joke. 
Yeah. And then obviously just to, what, I just went to double HW Media revenue, which I mean. we did exactly double, like literally more <coughs> or less exactly. What's the revenue of 2023? 20, what are you doing now a month? Well, last year was like 500K. And the year before was 246K. So what's that look like monthly now? Um, well, now it's about 50. So this year the goal is, this is the goal is definitely a million pounds, like 100% mm. a million pounds, 83K. And I know how we month consistently. Yeah. I know it. I know it. that obviously we need to get more than that to average out, but yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm even if we get anywhere closer, I'll be happy. Do you know what I mean, that's like 50% more than what we're on now. It's hard, obviously, when you're going higher, but I know exactly how we're going to do it. So, like, I know exactly how we got to do it get clients that can pay more, get them on more services, going out to going out to bigger clients. Like, we know what we got to do. It's got to actually that's do one thing we all changed actually in 2023. Yeah, we did definitely. Yeah, tickets. that's because everyone said it. Aaron Branch said it, yeah, Matt Wilson said it, Danny Page said it, everywhere, we, ticket, everywhere, we, everywhere we were saying it, Jazz Rose, like, and it just all connected, obviously, connected Simon, us. Simon, fucking Steve, <laughs> he, <laughs> he, yeah, he, obviously, spending time with him, so, yeah, fully, and we all changed our mindset around that, didn't we? Yeah, for me, the biggest learning, uh, not maybe the, the biggest lesson, but actual learning, uh, was definitely the NLP, I actually have found it so useful, not just... You know what? It's been good with sales. I want to get. I want to do additional learning, additional sales training with Steve in, into next year to to really push on the sales side of things. <clears throat> but it's definitely helped there massively. Um, but for me, it's been around the personal. Per, and he said it the same. James said it. The personal development and the understanding of people and the understanding of myself. And the understanding of like literally, like I thought this the other day. I was I was just in a bad mood, but like I get myself out. I can I consciously become aware and I can get myself out of it so quick now, like so yeah, so mate, well. Yeah. Like I, I I can control my mind like so well. Um Yeah, as soon as I'm like NLP. a little bit pissed off about something, I'm like straight away I'm like, no, no, I'm choosing to be pissed off about this. Yeah. Why am I gonna let it ruin my whole day? Like I'm actually yeah. choosing yeah, to mate, do this he's now. changed so many patterns yeah. Yeah. in like the way that we think. I sent him a voice note just before New Year and I just said like, Yeah, thanks, like you've had a massive impact on just not the NLP stuff, like my mindset and stuff. Like mm. I feel so clear and I feel like I just got so much vision and it's all from that. Mm. And also like he's done that 100 day challenge thing as well. Like that helps massively. Um, but yeah, sorry. No, I was saying he's got like, yeah, no, he's got good, good energy. And like, I generally think something like, what would he do in this situation? What, what would Steve do? Yeah, what would he do? I need to spend some more time with him, man. I need to get him in the business. But yeah, yeah it's, it's good just going over those books again. Like I read his book when I was on holiday. That was good. It was like he was reading it to me because I knew him. So he, it was like, <laughs> mate, if you've got it on Audible, you can listen to his voice. Oh, really? Have you got it? Yeah, he reads it. Really? Yeah, he reads it on Audible. Oh. Yeah, he's got <laughs> big steam in your ears. Yeah. <laughs> What's uh, the goals for twenty twenty three? Twenty twenty three. Twenty twenty three. Getting up at quarter six. <laughs> I want to get that already. I want to get up. I want to get. I want to aim to get up at five o'clock. I've just heard it so really? much lately. Like everyone, get up at five. Get up at five. It's pulling the law of attraction. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing it everywhere, and I want to do it because I want to be able to go to the gym. And come back and still be able to do a couple hours work before people are even awake. Mm. Like get stuff done. And this yeah, this is what we were saying. Isn't so it? like last year I was getting up at seven. Now we've been getting up this year so far, quarter to, quarter to six. So do that for a few months, you know, get it in, and then maybe five for one day. This is what we're saying at the minute. Yeah, although we're getting up at quarter to five, like we're finishing the gym by like seven thirty. By the time we've actually gone home, like had breakfast, got dressed, whatever. It's half eight, but you ain't even started work yet, and it's already half eight. Yeah, like but even like even one day, to, even yeah, we won the day <coughs> in terms of gym, but your business is still not open, and it's eight thirty. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So that's what we were saying today. It's hard because <clears throat> I get back and I, I go gym, and then I I just try to start by back ready to go all, all up and set up for nine o'clock, and then I just feel like. Yeah, I'll do nine o'clock. I like doing a big task to though before, like, I, I like doing, you know, nine o'clock your phone just starts going mad, isn't yeah. it? Like, everyone's ringing you, your staff are asking questions, all that stuff. So, like, you can't get any real, really big power tasks done. Like, it's so hard, mm -hmm. unless you do at the end of the day. So, if I, I really want to do, like, one if I, one task before it all starts, the stuff that's on my mind, you know, the stuff that just sits there on your to-do list forever. Yeah, that's the stuff that I always do, lot, like, late at night. Yeah, but I want to get out of that habit because then it ruins your sleep yeah, you and you can't, can't get yeah, up in the exactly morning right. and then it's a spiral pattern, isn't it? But Jakey, what about you, mate? So, is that your only goal? Um, so the goal is obviously you want to double the revenue again. The revenue. I want to go double the revenue get again. Up. Get up. Um, oh, what did I have? I need to plan my wedding. 
that's one thing. Or yeah. like, like assist Alex <laughs> in <planning laughs> my wedding. Take I need to, need to do that. Um, so that's three of the goals, yeah. Have you wrote your goals down? Have you done your goal set? I've wrote them down on my properly. computer, but I want to actually. I bought, got my book. Come, my book came today. Down. My book came today. You pen to paper yeah, I'm trying to think what else. Way. Yeah, I'm, I was waiting for my book. I thought it was going to come. It's come today, like literally this morning. But um, I've done loads of goals today. I did goals with Kareem, market manager. I did goals on the hour with Aaron Branch. Now we're doing this. Yeah. <laughs> for now, but I want to wait. That's starting year, though, isn't it? That's what everyone does. Yeah, like, well, not everyone, but I can't remember what else I had. No, I have learned to play golf, but I have on that. Maybe you do? Maybe oh, tw- I, have, yes, no, I, I have it as maybe 2024, though. Um, I have it as maybe 2024. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we'll see. Um, That's and it was just, yeah, continue. To, it was more like, yeah, continue to do stuff. I want to get a property this year, another one. That's the one thing. Invest in, I want to have one more. Yeah. But I just need to figure that out, specifically. Yours? <laughs> 2023, a lot of, all my goals changed because obviously where I got ill. Uh, I said it all changed. Like <coughs> one of them was to uh, weigh eighty kilograms. I just had that figure in my mind because I feel like when you set a fitness goal, like get you know your your goal has to be specific, right? So like obviously I want to be like big and in in, you know, in good shape, but like that that that's the goal. But actually, what what does that mean? And I, I kind of worked out in my head roughly. Like I think if I was about eighty kilograms, then I'd look in good shape. Be quite bulked, but then obviously uh, went into hospital. I lost ten kilograms. I think I was, sev- was seventy six, and I came out about sixty six. So I'd lost ten kilos, but then I realised actually a lot of it was just fat anyway. Mm. Like just and I just kept it off, just kept shredded. Like I'm, I think at the minute I'm weighing still below seventy, and I'm e- even better shape. So actually, so eight kilograms ain't actually a, a, a good goal. No. Eight kilograms is the wrong goal. So I've done the same goal this year, but I've dropped it to like seventy four. 74 kilograms um it's just yeah just a lot lighter um but yeah but that, the main goal is and that's obviously what we want to talk about in a minute as well is obviously how we actually set the goals because it needs to be measurable it needs to be for, for me anyway metrics i know what that looks like just go to the gym x amount of times per week and then yeah i want to weigh this much this is how much i want to be bent pressing this is how much i want to be lifting or whatever so um and then that was a weight one but yeah didn't achieve that at all because the say my goal actually changed. Um, what was my other one? My other one was five million pound revenue of last year. We done three point eight, but I had two months off, so I feel like I say I had two months off. Plus I lost momentum. Plus I lost lost the love for it big time, um, <coughs> and obviously changed everything that we're doing in the business now. Anyway, um, I had five goals because we got that goals book at twenty twenty four. Goals book. Did you have that? Twenty twenty three goals. Yeah. Did you Did you have one? Did we buy one each. Yeah, we bought one. The the big one. Fat one. Yeah. <coughs> no, I think I got it the year before, didn't I? Yeah. This I've had one for like the past four years. I didn't buy one this year because I just write the five goals in and then it just goes to the side. Mm. So that's why I've changed it slightly this year because you can't then you can track your goals, but it's in a completely different area and it all just gets a bit messy. Yeah. So that was one of them. Um, what was the other one? Yeah, I had five anyway, but I can only. I literally read them about two days ago as well because I was obviously setting my goals for this year. Um, so yeah, didn't do too well with the goals. Oh, actually, no, buy, buy my new house was also in 2020, uh, 2023, which obviously we're close to completing. I mean, yeah, I mean, we found the house and got the off, so we're in the complete chain. So whether or not that goes, goes through, which we all do. Um, so yeah, that was the third one. And, uh, just come back to that as well. We're about maybe if it's three years ago, pre COVID, I actually set out I writ out one year, three year and ten year goals. And I'm now ticking off the three year goals three years later. Oh, so I but I can go back and look at them because that's how long ago it was. And the best thing was I've written out this book, COVID hit. Obviously my goals in there was completely different to like maybe two years after that. But then I I found that book and read it two years later, in there, before we'd started hey, um, WHW, was to get rent-to-rent. Um, so that was my one-year goal, was get two rent-to-rent deals, source deals and sell deals. I was bang on the property stuff, so I was going to all those events. I'd set up Opportunity Property before oh, yeah. we'd set up WHW. So it was around that time. So I had all those goals, find a JV, joint venture partner for property, obviously ended up with you know, 
having Luke and Sam, this plus the JV, if you like. Um, and yeah, now the three year goals was a lot. I was ticking off. I wanted to get my teeth done. I didn't set that last year, but that was in my my three year goals. Um, get the house, and my specifics was I want a house with a walk in wardrobe and an ensuite, and I had a price tag on it as well. And then three years later, that's exactly what I'm getting. Three years later, yeah, so at the moment, but the price tags, the price tags different. The price tags more than what I'd actually originally set. Then I had some cars and stuff in there as well, and a few other bits and pieces. And Forex, before we even got into Forex, Forex was on my list. And now we're somehow into Forex. Yeah. Like, and that's, that was literally, I'll, I'll show, I could show you the, the thing, literally, they were all written down. And then the 10 year one, I started the 10 year, but I'd, I'd literally made about two goals, and that was it. I'd, obviously, I'd done that in an, in an evening or something, went back and changed it a couple of times, and then just shut the book and forgot about it. I think that's the best and thing about goal it. setting is the yeah. fact that you can go back and look at it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like Sam's been on it for time. Like Sam's got his books from like five, six, seven years ago, yeah. and it's like it's so crazy because you forget the goals. It's weird. Yeah. You shouldn't forget your goals, right? Like you shouldn't, but you, you didn't just remember them. Like, yeah, yeah. I can't remember them now on the spot. Yeah. So, but I mean, sure, if we sat there for ages, we'd think about it. But like, if you haven't written them down, you can go back to them and you can see years ago. You're like, oh my days, like, I'm way past that goal. Yeah, or, yeah. Or I did that ages ago. Or like, and then you can feel proud that you set a goal and you actually achieved it. <coughs> but yeah, it's a mad the you know, thing was actually ticking it off and going rent to rent. I actually wrote down that I wanted rent to rent deals. And yeah. I was like, oh, we've got rent to rent deals now. I'm sitting the book. I'm sitting there taking a book going, I'm, I it's can't so believe fulfilling, I'm isn't stuff. it? Yeah. Fulfilling even when you write a to-do list and you tick it off, let alone if you, <laughs> you wrote a to-do list four years ago and yeah, now yeah. you're ticking off. Yeah. Yeah. When I, I, this year I, tick, I went back to one of mine and I had, and these were the long-term goals and podcast was on there. This was from right like right. three years. Oh, yes. This was from yeah, like yeah. four years that ago or something. Podcast, like yeah. These are like the first goals I wrote sort of thing. Podcast was on there before everyone was even having a podcast as well. I thought that's when you make it. But you said it to me ages ago. Yeah, and then, and then yeah. I, when I went back, I, said, I thought, yes. And there's some things on there that I ticked off. I can't remember what. There were some things obviously to cross off. I had things like 100k <coughs> followers on pure clothing. That, that's no longer. So mm. um, things like that. But yeah, your goals do change, yeah. innit? Like throughout the year, your goals can change. Like your goals can change from month to month. But <coughs> as long as you have a bit of a vision on, you know, different parts of, uh, of your life, then. Yeah, I mean, yeah, so last that, that was last year's goals. This year's goals, um, again, it's around uh, work, revenue. I don't want to do the five mil this year, but it'll be it's going to be split in different areas because obviously what I'm doing, obviously I've got rid of all my employees, basically, um, and now basically subcontracting work. Um, and so, yeah, one of those is business. One of those, again, is gym-related. Again, it's all to do with weight. Um, how much weight I want to be pushing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. How many times I need to be going in order to achieve that. Um, another one is actually my first number one goal is actually to finish twenty twenty three's goals because some of them are the house is not complete yet. My teeth is something that I want to get done. Obviously, these things cost money, you know. Like this is just like physical goals. I get my teeth like complete. I still got to pay some money towards that to get that finished and that bonding, like what we were saying. Um, and uh, finish off my tattoo that I've got. That was my goal last year. That was my other goal, get a tattoo. <laughs> so I got the tattoo, but now I need to finish the tattoo. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's my, num- my, that's my number one goal, is actually finish 20, complete 2020. I don't feel like I can set them a goal each because that's just cheating myself, yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. Because I actually, my tattoo, finish it off. I mean, I'm halfway there anyway. My teeth, I'm halfway there. And my house, I'm halfway there. Do that as there. a collective. So it's like, just make that one goal. <coughs> just complete everything. Because otherwise, I might wait until the year after to do the, those things. So get them all done. There's a physical one. There's a money one. Um, the other one is to get uh, free more properties, free investment properties. Nice. Um, and that's obviously why I'm using the subcontractors at work to be able to free up my time to then go and get the property. Um, that's again doing a JV um, with someone else's funds and some of my own funds. I just want to say a massive thank you to anyone that's tuning into the podcast. If you're not already, then please drop us a follow across our social media platforms. You'll find us on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. The Multipliers Club is our app. Also, just hit the subscribe or follow button on whichever platform you are listening to this on. Like yeah, randomly, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Randomly, you could just go on TikTok Live and video some of it because it's, yeah, it, yeah. it's real. It feels yeah, no, no, yeah. Break, break it. Well done.
Yeah, so you can cool. keep it. So, uh, carry on. <coughs> so the properties yeah, you buy, want to so do. Buy, buy three properties. What yeah. strategy are you going to do for that? So, uh, BRR, we were talking about this today, weren't we? BRR, yeah, I feel that's like that's just something to just get in, get out, and actually just understand how it works. It's all going to be a learning process. Um, we were talking about potentially getting a mentor, but I, I know you said really just go ahead go for it. You don't just need go it. for it, yeah. Just trying to free up my time, become less reliant on that. For me, the travel business is now just a cash flow business. Like it's something that's just gonna, I've, I've put in all the work. Now the work's paying me. So I can not necessarily put it to one side, but I can just be a lot smarter about it and not be so reliant on it um, just by utilizing other people within the network. So that allowed me to free up my time. Then yeah, free properties is on the, on the list. And yeah, that'll be, different strategies one at a time i think could probably be the best idea but like even like that group that you showed me about the font i don't think i think i'll probably use a saucer for to just throw up deals and we just see where it goes just get one done out of the way and they can just understand how it works i know how to buy property and sell property because i've done that before but there's another guy i'm at doing the other stuff all the, it's the legal stuff for me it's like yeah once you've done it like yeah let's do it once just make sure the numbers stack it. for a flip yeah, and then worst case scenario, you sell it and then you move on to another deal. Like, do you know what I mean? Just make sure it, you've got enough potential to add some value to the property without it being the biggest challenge. You know, don't go and think I need to strip. I think the lucky thing is that, that you can, like, we wouldn't know looking at a house like what you can do with it, how easily. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. Call you'll on know your more. I mean, we've, we've done refurb projects. Like, yeah. you've done a refurb project. I've done a refurb project. No, sorry, like, I understand slight because like that doesn't phase me. The bits that phase me is actually how do you then refinance it? How do you approach the mortgage provider? I know, I, I understand the value evaluate. They come out and do evaluation. Mm-hmm. I've done the valuation and already. I've done it myself. Though. It's mad yeah, easy. Like, it's literally it. just yeah. Well, because I because I needed when I put it in my house. I've seen how overcomplicated. Yeah, it's like literally yeah, it's someone simple. comes up the bank, <laughs> send their person round, and then they value it, and then that's it, and then they give you the money. It's I've got, good, I've yeah. got good yeah. lenders, good finance people that offer all yeah. different finance options. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to be the fair, I've seen to sure go in. Because obviously, all these sources and all these, you know, you get hit with all these. Like yeah, every day, I get careful. it. Like the deal, they definitely inflate what they're telling you you're going to make. Yeah, they they base it on on like oh, some house down the road sold for this much, but like there's differences and stuff. That's why you have to look into it in my idea yeah. and yeah, explore it yourself and then this make sure it yeah, makes it's sense. Just yeah. gonna be spending like but a lot of these times, inquire because I inquired on one of these guys' adverts and they. Like I signed a non-disclosure and then they sent me all the details, showed me why it would be priced at that much. They sent me one that was next door, which is the same size and showed me that just sold for this much, blah, blah, blah. So like, and then that helps you to understand just by inquiring for the deals. You don't have to go yeah. ahead with them. Yeah. Yeah, it's just getting in and doing it. Um, yeah, again, there's subsection goals to that. So attending X amount of networking events um, and, you know, who, who we need to speak to, creating like the power team say around you you know connecting with solicitors and you know using them for sale of my property now anyway but yeah that's um, that's the other goal and the final goal was just a very broad goal but um was to just do with the forex and crypto stuff um but again i've kind of narrowed that down because i want to concentrate on that because i feel like that is going to be a big year anyway for the crypto um, but you can't just put that as a goal. Do you know what I mean? Forex crypto just as a goal like that. But that's I'm work out I don't like know how much sense. I want to make minimum. So I put actually, much, how, yeah, I'm, how I'm much do you want to put into? I'm not the same really. how much I'm going to make because you can't you can't necessarily control that. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a speculative goal. Ish. For me, it's more about <coughs> how much I want to put into crypto. Yeah. That's one of the goals that I've set. So I've just put all these are all these are uh, titles. Finish 2023 goals. Forex crypto property work physical. And then underneath subsection the goals, um, so that's just yeah how I've done the goal setting. And then with the um, yeah the forex stuff, you know forex. That's not you know learn forex. That's not you know what what does that mean when you actually learn forex? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. for me, one of the goals is to complete uh, this guy called Pep who I found on TikTok. I've just bought his forex course. I think it's fucking sick. I've just been doing that. I've actually enjoyed doing it. Um, and we're getting a course from 360 Trader who we follow for the crypto stuff. Complete Pep's course, complete 360 Trader's course, and obviously with the funding accounts, you have to go through stages. Actually complete, without signals, 
with my own analysis, complete a funded course. So that Forex and crypto is my goal, but then under there, that's how I define how I actually achieve those goals. And that's what's gone under there. That's the Forex one, that's the crypto one, because yeah, like we're saying, it's subjective for what the crypto... You no know, Forex will take it long to... Take more than a year to try and master those. Yeah, 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 yeah. Course now, hundred percent. I'm under no, I'm under no illusion that it's going to take a long, long time to come to grips. And with consistent, it. like and, I can't uh, have any and, days off of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, and, and be consistent with it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I just obviously sounds like I'm just taking on fucking loads of shit. Just getting yeah, shiny, yeah. shiny <laughs> penny syndrome. That is, that is, that is yeah. the baddest shiny yeah. penny syndrome yeah. I've <laughs> ever heard, mate. Maybe, <laughs> You're gonna yeah, focus on crypto. You're gonna focus on forex. You're yeah. gonna focus on uh, property. the property, and uh, you're still carrying on your your business. Yeah, the, the travel stuff is pretty self sufficient anyway. Now the way that I've got it set hey, up. Hey, you was on the phone. That's seventy percent of the day today. January. <laughs> it's, it's a big month. Um, most of my stuff, most of my, you know, that, that January, February is like the best month of the year. Like, it's yeah, perfect. It is. Um, and as the year goes on, same, what, with what I'm doing at the minute, is I'm just delegating. You're going to be I'm just delegating. Off. I'm just doing part of it. I've got a figure in my head as to what I want to do for myself this year. If I can just reach that figure by July, August, What's the figure? then profit wise, um, 300. But then that's a 300 before split. So like split I would, with, oh, right. I split with the franchise, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, as long as I can do that, then that's fine. Then I can just spend all my time and anything else I get coming in, I can kind of just ship off. Yeah, yeah. But then that's my own stuff. I mean, every, everything else I ship off, I get paid on as well, but I just want to do that figure for myself and then get paid off the off the rest of it. Um, but yeah, no, it, it does sound like something. It does a bit. But to be fair, mine's kind of... Mine, well, I've, I decided I've not broke all of mine down into individual sections. I want to kind of... I want to set the goals for everything. So, like, within the business, the social media, the, like, you know, the absolutely everything, the staff, the thing, and then break it down step by step to kind of what becomes your working document in your life for the year because I just prefer that, innit? I just prefer to have everything. This is this is the path I've got to follow. If I can stay on track with this, I know I'm going to be good and I'm going to get there. But I've not done that side of things. But I just sat down. I didn't do too many goals. <coughs> I did three peak challenge, you know, the three Sick. mountains, yeah. Scotland, Wales, England, yeah. in, in 24 hours. That's what you got to do. So I wouldn't do How that. How many um, are working kilometres do you usually say? How many kilometres is that to go? I don't know. I don't know how many miles, kilometres, anything, man. I just know there's three mountains that you've got to climb yeah, in 24 hours and it's tough. Yeah, well, um, and you just hire a driver on that. But I want to do that. I want to do... Um, a half marathon towards the later end of the year, maybe in, like end of September or something, because I want to end the next year doing a marathon. Uh, so I want to do the 3P Challenge marathon, maybe just something like a Tough mud or something as well, just another little fitness thing. Uh, so I've ticked off like three of those, because last year was getting the routine, getting in the gym. I lost a good amount. It was 10K, but it's gone about to 8K after December, to be fair. But uh, So I've got the consistency and stuff like that. Now I want to actually get fit, like get, you know, be able to go out, do these runs, climb fucking mountains. Because the year after, I want to do a full marathon and like Mount Kilimanjaro. So this year, Free Peak, Tough Mud or something, half marathon. That's on the fitness side of things. Uh, and I've continued to, you know, the gym. I'm going to continue to kind of go and obviously I've, I've set down what I want you know, to do. The best, the best thing, like obviously we're just talking about our goals now, and like you know, but like <coughs> it's so hard to keep on top of it. So I've been doing this hundred day challenge, yeah, which is the yeah. 30 minutes of exercise a day, at least, cold shower, 30 minutes of learning. That's why I've been doing this forex stuff, because that's just my learning stuff. Mm. 30 minutes of that, uh, an act of kindness, and a power task, something that you just shift, yeah. you do during the day that actually is going to benefit you massively. Um, but the, the thing, and the, the, I think it's number seven, seven is an accountability partner. Have somebody there. Mm. So me and Rory, every day, have phoned each other, Every day, without fail. Have you done your tasks? How are you getting on? Or have you done, oh, I've done this, I've done that, but I haven't done my power, I haven't done my learning. Like, so tonight, he'll probably text me, go, oh, have, you done, have you done your tasks today? Like, but that, I feel like, is just, I start, if without that, I wouldn't have stuck to the challenge. Me and Luke going to the gym, like, we've been doing it for probably, what, since, well, like through two December. Three, two or three weeks, really, yeah. isn't it? Through, through December, a couple of weeks before Christmas. Christmas, obviously, not so much. And then back again this week, like, it's been... 
up at six, guys to the gym. I would I wouldn't have gone. Like in, yeah. I would have gone in the evening, but I wouldn't have gone in the morning if it weren't for Luke's accountability. I feel like holding each other accountable on our goals. Mm. Maybe for me, the, in, for me, the only one I would want, need that on. I feel like is um, the social media. They're like posting. Uh, someone call me up like everything. Like, see, have I, you posted I, it on I, TikTok? Have you posted things? Like, that's what I need. Oh, that's my fifth goal. <laughs> Create yeah. a um, social media presence, but I didn't actually define what that even. Maybe was. that's it, mate. We just get on each other every day and make sure we're doing it because uh, one story a day, one TikTok. <coughs> <day>. The accountability <coughs> thing is so <coughs> so important. The rest of the stuff, I don't really find that. For me, I feel like I. Yeah, I don't really. Depends on what the goal is. I think for the social media, 100%, I need someone for that. For the free peak talents, I, I want to do that. It's a goal, but I want to do that for fun, innit? Like, I was even thinking to do it for my birthday. Same with the hat. Like, the, like, do you know I mean? That stuff's easy to tick off. The business side of things is more, less accountability and more like, I don't know what the word necessarily is, but on the business goals, but that's just got to be you and your business kind of. Yeah, but still go. But still, how you getting on? How you getting on? Uh, yeah. behind, behind target. What you do? You know, someone to go. Well, what are you doing to get to target? Mm. Uh, good point. Yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, I feel like yeah, accountability. Yeah, accountability is because even just having the, the discussions, discussions like we did earlier, where one of mine is to do a talking stage, and you came up with a great solution on how to do it, what would best suit. So now that's gone from just being a goal, which is all I wrote down, is I know I want to talk on stage to actually, shit, I've got a bit of a plan. I'm going to go away. I'm going to search on Eventbrite. Then I'm going to reach out to them events or go to them events and try and now go industry. Do you know what I mean? So just by us having that conversation, that's where it can benefit. I guess same with ben, uh, with with the business. We was obviously chatting earlier about our business and, and, and obviously the next year, the goals. We was talking bigger's not always better. So yeah. You strip back. You're now looking to earn six figures and and get time on your hand to do every every side hustle under the sun <laughs> um, whereas we were talking about obviously my plans and, and where I'm at just looking at the numbers and it's like what we need to turn over over the next 12 months just to continue going on and sort of as we are <clears throat> and hit what we want to hit it's just massive like big bloody which is what for overheads because you're talking like to include some so, you know to include pretty much most stuff I think it was about 800 and 80 grand in the next 12 months overheads to cover so that's the revenue I need before I can even start looking at profit um, so it's big do you know what I mean yeah. uh, what makes up the most of that so that that's not that's not that's not even the number in fact I'll tell you what that was direct overheads of the business which includes then like sort oh, of mainly staff then. All, yeah mainly staff the direct overheads the office can't get VAs the stuff like that that was including <laughs> yeah. some marketing uh, unfortunately you can't get VAs that was including marketing um, in in there as well but that wasn't even including materials of jobs so um, if you add that on then it just depends on how much so it's too hard to work <coughs> that out but um, yeah so really you'd at least be saying yeah we need to do over like 1.2 to start seeing some profit so for me my initial goal and that's kind of that's working out through the year to make sure all right we're going to still do very well and stuff for me the first six first first six months uh, or, or at least first quarter I want to be just consi- I want to I want to get some more predictability in the business so I want to just be doing um, I want to find the number that it costs me to invest to generate 160k a month in business for the first I want to see some consistency rather than spikes yeah. rather than oh 300k job then 50k job there is but I want to try and make it as consistent as, as consistent because it's never been consistent it's been up down up down which works through the year but I want to be able to have a predictable business that can make decisions based off of that you can't run a business making decisions off of oh I might land a 400 grand job next week or I might not it's way too big a numbers to like do you know what I mean? It's like we had that. We nearly thought we was going to land a 500 grand job and a couple hundred grand. Job. It was going to be like 700 grand in a month towards the end of the year. They, the client had a baby when, or, or they didn't have a baby. They found out they're having a baby, ended up moving, didn't do the job. Like, do you know what I mean? That sort of stuff. So it was in the runnings. We was going to win it. That's why we had confidence. It'd been going on for a few months. All of a sudden, you don't have that job. You, you, no one can run a business that's like one minute I've got an extra 700 grand coming in the next I don't like how can you make decisions based yeah. off of that it's impossible you have to find some ways which I've been doing work on thinking about testing stuff to try and just to lower uh, you know we're not gonna I want to obviously turn over more than uh, that number um, 
through the year. Uh, but just if I could see that as my base level, like I spend five grand a month on marketing, plus obviously everything else, the word of mouth, stuff like that, social media, that generates consistently at least 160K a month, 160K a month, 160K a month. Um, of booked in work which is going to be split probably about 60k in bar 50 60k in bathrooms and then 100k obviously on the building um that for me would just be nice to just see ah oh, predict a, a bit of predictability yeah. so then <coughs> then i can know okay now if i spend x amount more i'm going to be able to add 30 percent revenue 40 percent revenue that sort of thing so that's that's where i want to get on the the building and um on the company i just want to get a bit more calm predictable um, what well, the data that you can track and see that's that's on track. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, most people um, are hard for that. Isn't it? Mm. Yeah. So then I guess one point six. When you're talking 12. big numbers, it's like I want to turn. A, I want to turn two million in it this year. Which, but two million, which I could try and go for more, try and push more. Maybe that does happen, but two million in a in a calmer manner where things are operating nice and smooth got the new staff settled in, like everyone on the same page, things running well, operations improving, and just, yeah, predictable. I'd rather that than aim for three million, but it'd be like, choo, 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 up, down, like, do you know what I mean? 500 be calm, in your, in, calm. In, in I just your, need, in, in I need a cool, calm, it. collective, yeah. predictable outcomes. That's the thing, this is what we're saying, like, obviously, bigger like, ain't, ain't always better sometimes. Obviously, you know, what you, the amount of bods you're going to need to do that. I don't really need to hire too many more people. That's the thing. I can do that with the team I've got now. It's not that much. It's we've been we have monthly, like you know, and it's, that's not that big an increase of what we've done this last year. But I just want to do it in a calmer manner. <laughs> so 100%. that's on the business. The three peaks, the half marathon, the tough mother on the uh, fitness, the TikTok, and the on stage for the kind of the personal out there. One of the things, obviously, like when Lucas done is bought the twenty twenty four book. Amazon goal set and a good thing about what that does obviously we're good at like setting goals anyway but that actually sits down and asks you questions so it really just gets you thinking so yeah anybody listening I don't know if you can put a link Lee for like a goal setting well, Lee's just got on Amazon and they just type in goal yeah. plan 2024 and it comes up I've got up, an yeah. app shall I tell you what the app is yeah so what the app is they're all good resources isn't it but yeah that, that goal set that goal book so I'm it's probably too much, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's actually it's, too much. Too, I feel like it's good if you're first setting goals, though. Yeah, yes, because then like, you do you think about it next already, time. Like, yeah. fine, but it does get you thinking about like your physical goals, your charitable goals, like what you want to give back. Yeah, it breaks it down. Yeah, it breaks it down. Better. Better. Productive, yeah. it was Time. called. It's Productive. um, but I've used this one. So this has a, so far. I need to go through it. I haven't got my goals. Goals on this. This is. Well, it is. These are my daily goals. So, like, read each day. That was one of my things. I want to read twenty pages. I go go for a walk. I tend to do this stuff anyway. The gym and stuff, but just so I can. This was more to not keep me accountable. This is more to track. So I want to look back. Like, I'd love to say how many gym sessions did I do last year? How many walks did I go on last year? How many pages have I read? How many? You know, all of that. So that's what this is for. But it, it's worth downloading. It's free to start, and then I think it's like thirty five quid for the year or something. Um, I forgot to say one of my biggest goals actually is obviously we're on the property side of things, purchasing property. Yeah. That's a that's a big goal we're hopefully completing on Touchwood. First uh first ones the next couple week or next week or the week after. Uh so hopefully by the next podcast that we, we film we've completed. That's that's the first five properties. I want to get to a portfolio of four million by the end of the year, which is fifty percent, which will be fifty percent mine. 75% of that's debt, obviously, with the mortgage. So, but um, that's the goal. Four million by the end of the year will be, will yeah, be that's good. good. Four million. Grow the, the bank. Grow the TikTok by actually the... What, four million followers. Four million <laughs> followers. Four million portfolio. Four million in the business. Four million on the podcast. There we are, mate. That's it. Cool. Easy. Imagine that would be us flying. Cool. <laughs>